From the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE. Now, here's your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and welcome to a special presentation of theCUBE here in our Boston area studio. Happy to welcome to the program, Mike Pigeon, Mike's Senior Director of Education Services at Dell EMC. Mike, great to talk to you. Thanks, Stu, thanks for having me. Um, when you talk about careers, you talk about jobs, when you're talking to partners and end users, what are some of the biggest concerns they have, and especially, you know, how do things like skill sets and training fit into it? Yeah, sure, I mean, it, it's twofold, really. It's, it's part of it's the technology and how the technology industry is changing so fast, and to your point, needing to keep up with that, which is, which is blistering. So that's definitely a big challenge we look to address. And then the other part of it is just uh, time, time in the day, and the ability to, to get out of work, to, to train, and, and that's actually driven a big shift in the industry to different ways of learning, different types of learning experiences that don't require someone to be in a physical classroom all the time. Yeah, I ha have to imagine that that's the case. Uh, tell us, what's the state of certification these days? You know, there's always debates in the industry. It's like, ah, uh, you know, have I just had the same certification for the last 20 years and I just kind of <laughs> go through the road? Or what am I learning on the job? How are my certifications changing? Uh, you mentioned kind of remote versus there. You know, wh what's the industry look like these days? There is a, a big focus, as there always has been, around certifications on specific technologies, vendors, products, and obviously at Dell EMC, we have, we have a big focus there. Uh, we have a, a portfolio of certifications to meet that need, but what we see in the market and hear loud and clear from our customers is that with all the change going on and the change driving, IT professionals need uh, to be skilled, knowledge proficient in much more than specific products and technologies. It's really the, the connection across multiple domains, infrastructure, applications, and security, which is really the, uh, the interesting uh, part of it and opportunity for us. What, what is the focus, you know, wh wh and why does you know, the Dell family of uh, companies you know, have a right to kind of be you know, a, a major partner for users uh, in, in doing yeah. those certifications in yeah. the education? Yeah, we, you know, yeah. we feel that no, there's no one in a better position mm -hmm. to really uh, help build that knowledge and validate those skill sets based upon, first and foremost, Dell EMC's breadth of infrastructure and the capabilities there. And, and with certifications really broadening across that infrastructure, looking at it more holistically. And then when you think about the family of Dell Technologies and bring in VMware and VirtuStream and Pivotal and RSA, uh, very much adjacent technologies and broader solutions that really tie into what we envision uh, and what we see and hear from our customers as defining and requiring the skill sets of the future. G give us a landscape of what the certifications look like today, and uh, you, you've got some news that you, you, you're going to tell us about wh you know, what's new today also. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the state of current state today is, as I mentioned, very product-centric, yeah. um, maybe a combination of products, and, and moving forward now, uh, we're excited to, be, uh, to, to have more transformational certifications which span those different domains. Mm -hmm. So for example, as organizations to begin to uh, or continue to modernize their data centers, implement integrated systems, converge systems, uh, it requires a different skill set uh, to manage and support that infrastructure that's now being deployed and leveraged in a different way. Just as one example. You know, you said across multiple domains, but you know, bring us inside a little bit as to yeah. you know, wh what's involved here. Yeah, yeah, it's certainly. So, so there's definitely a simplicity aspect to it, absolutely. Um, contrasted to deep expertise in server storage network, uh, but that, that dynamic with the converged and hyper-converged infrastructure is, is actually administrator that, that may not need to have as much depth in any of those areas, but they need to have breadth across all of them, right? Also, um, skill sets, knowledge, and experience around different cloud and operating models uh, to really round out the, the skill sets required there. Okay. Um, who are these, uh, you know, uh, certifications targeted at? You know, what kind of stage in their careers? You know, what kind of path is there? You know, help, uh, help us understand a little bit uh, the journeys that, uh, you know, people are on with their jobs and careers sure. uh, on the certifications. Sure, so the, the new certifications that, that we have, uh, it really spans quite a range, right? We have associate level certifications. Think of that as very foundational in concepts. 
which aren't even anchored specifically on Dell EMC products, but more concepts around uh, converged infrastructure, uh, cloud, hybrid cloud environments and concepts. For something like that at that associate level, it could be a technical person, a technical professional, it could be a, a business professional, it could be a someone coming out of a university or even while they're in a university that's focused in building some knowledge and some skill set to enter the IT industry. Uh, so for that, there's a pretty broad spectrum. And then as you go up the, uh, the levels or tiers within our certification program, as you'd expect, more advanced, um, higher levels of knowledge, and, and, and as you get up to the highest tiers in the program, it's really not, not just grounded on knowledge, but actually real world experience. And in some cases, the experience required may be uh, five years of, of the right experience, or in some cases, with our new uh, Enterprise Architect certification, it's, it's at minimum 15 years of, of experience. H how do you balance that, and how does you know, that fit in, kind of IT with business and you know, those various skill sets? Yeah, yeah. G great question, because uh, you're right on about the technologies. Yeah. There's, the, there's the role itself in that example, architecting enterprise-wide solutions, mm -hmm. where there's extent and many years of experience required, uh, but when it comes down to a technology perspective, obviously uh, the shelf life on, on many of those is not quite that long. So it is a balance there. Uh, what I'd also say I is that th what these certifications help validate and what we see required in the market today is not just that technical focus, but very much so the, the, the business focus, the business acumen, and the ability to engage with the business uh, understand business requirements, the corporate strategy, if you will, where they're going, and really translate or convert that into enterprise architecture. And ar enterprise architecture that's very different than the past, that more sets the stage for an organization to be successful moving forward. Yeah, you know, so if, if I hear you right, it's really a pairing of you know the technology and the business and you know making sure that there's, there's, there's good partnership there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned kind of skill set in the market. What, what are some of the big gaps? You know, what are what are customers coming and saying? Hey, you know, I, I've got people with skills, but I need to retrain them. What, what is where's the where, where's the place where you see the the, the biggest opportunity today yeah. uh, that that some of these new certifications are helping? Yeah, a couple that come come top to mind. Uh, first one is security, yeah. a hot topic, everywhere, and. Uh, a critical step in, in, in that, in, in implementing security, is making sure the infrastructure is secure. Right? We hear that over and over again, and what we see is that a very product-oriented approach in IT to securing products or, or parts of the infrastructure. So one of the new certifications we're, we're excited to have brought to market uh, is, is infrastructure security and it's looking across the spectrum, across all Dell EMC infrastructure, as well as connections to, uh, to VMware and other vendors, and it's, it's really focused on taking a, a security first approach and implementing the right security controls in the infrastructure to meet an organization's security policy and requirements. Uh, so security, uh, you know, super hot. Um, what, what else from, from the announcement do you want to make sure people understand what the, some of the new pieces uh, that, that, that are helping on these uh, transformations? You know, I think another area that uh, is definitely worth a shout out is the um, deployment of multi-cloud environments. And Dell EMC infrastructure, uh, private cloud, um, connectivity, and integration with different public cloud providers. That's, that's what our large customers around the globe are doing. That's one of the biggest problems we've seen is the operating environment for that multi-cloud world is, is challenging for customers. There mm -hmm. is no single pane of glass, and if I'm a Dell customer working with like Azure and Azure Stack, mm -hmm. um, it, I've got one thing. If I'm then you know a VMware customer and I'm looking at VM with Amazon, that, that can be very different, and customers are stuck in the middle. How do you, uh, fr from an education standpoint, live in that multi-cloud world? What do you do? Where, where do you say, oh, hey, I've got an associate program here, but you might want to take the AWS associate program here and terminology yeah. and yeah. you know multi-cloud environments. Yeah, yeah. So the certification is uh, it's called the multi-cloud administrator expert certification. Okay. And there's a path to get there. There's actually multiple paths to get there. And 
It really focuses and anchors around uh, Dell EMC infrastructure and uh, VMware vRealize suite and, and the automation capabilities there. Now, the certification isn't just uh, validating the knowledge, it's actually also the real world of experience of managing that environment and it extends to public clouds uh, as part of that certification, it's validating that individuals have the experience and, and have actually working environments where they're, they're actually integrating into those different public cloud uh, providers. So that could be, of course, uh, both Dell EMC and VMware cloud uh, partner providers, uh, but also into other popular uh, cloud providers like Virtustream, Microsoft Azure, uh, AWS and so on. So we're not certifying them on those third-party cloud providers, but our certification validates an individual's experience and their proficiency working with those environments. Yeah. It's part of a larger solution. Right. So Mike, you, your background from the EMC side, maybe speak to a little bit uh, the, the portfolio you mentioned, VirtuStream. Uh, sure. VMware, of course, has you know very rigorous uh, you know uh, types of certifications there. How, how, how do those play across uh, the, the various solutions? Yeah, there's a lot of great synergies there. So, so as I mentioned, our, our certification validate into some of those areas, but but an additional uh, opportunity for uh, for the individuals who are looking to get certified. For example, uh, it's called co-badging. Uh, so, so for individuals who have a specific Dell EMC certification, like that multi-cloud expert as well as a, in this case, a VMware certification, their VCP. Uh, not only do they get to wear, proudly wear those two badges, uh, but there's a third co-badge, which really distinguishes that person as having a, a broader set of experience across that, that, uh, that even bigger solution. Okay, uh, last thing I want to touch on, Mike, is you know, plan it for the future. You know, to yeah. talk a little bit about you know the rollout of, of some of these new certifications, and you know, how does this prep customers not just for the needs of today, but you know where they need to go in their career for the next you know five years? Yeah, sure. So, so the the what we're validating in these certifications is is absolutely relevant to uh, to a lot of our customers that we see that are transforming at a rapid pace. Uh, but what I like to say is that you know, transformation's a journey. The, the masses of organizations are in motion. They're obviously at all different stages, uh, but really what we're focused on validating is the future skills needed. And uh, we see a big, a lot of pent up demand actually for that today. So what we, uh, for example, our master level certification, uh, to your question about kind of what's next, where it's going, we, that is a, a extremely rigorous certification, not one that you, uh, that, that is achieved via an online proctored exam. It's actually conducted by a board review. So candidates submit applications, they, they, and depending upon the application, it's accepted or not. Those that are accepted actually um, will have the opportunity to present in front of uh, a board. And it's something that will we'll run quarterly. Uh, our first one at Dell Technologies World, uh, just coming up in a couple months, and we'll run them quarterly after that. And uh, for those who, who pass the board review and have the extensive amount of experience and, and meet the requirements, uh, achieve that master level enterprise architect uh, certification in that case. Okay, um, great. Well, we're looking forward to being, we're going to have theCUBE at Dell Technologies World. It's actually the first event uh, we ever did was EMC World back yeah. in 2010. So it'll be, I can't believe our ninth year uh, doing the cube there, lots of coverage. Uh, Mike, I just want to give you the final word. You know, we, we were talking offline a bit. We've, we've got yeah. friends in the industry. Lots of things have changed. Personal level, what, what, what do you give people that have been in tech for a while? You know, what advice do you give them? Uh, I'd say, like, like, like any role, even even outside of tech, but I think mostly in tech is is you know keeping up with the pace of things. It's uh, it's that right there is a full time job, as you know, and and as our customers know, and you know, coming from the <laughs> Uh, the learning industry and education services. It's, it's a passion of mine and uh, something I get really, really excited about. All right, Mike Pigeon, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations Thanks, on Stuart. the update. We look forward to hearing the results from the, the board reviews at Dell Technologies World and beyond. And be sure to check out thecube.net for coverage of Dell Technologies World, lots of other shows in 2018 and beyond. I'm Stu Minin. Thank you so much for watching theCUBE. <laughs>